What botulism is, is it is a uh, paralytic illness. Uh, what that means is you can get uh, paralyzed from it. Uh, it's rare in humans, however, it can sometimes be uh, fatal. Now, the good news is that it cannot be passed from person to person uh, with uh, skin contact. Uh, however, it can be passed if you have like open wounds and stuff like that, uh, but it cannot be passed by person to person uh, from skin contact. Now, the uh, most common way it occurs is uh, from improperly uh, preserved uh, food. Now, the uh, toxin is a uh, protein produced under anaerobic conditions, and it's produced by the uh, bacterium Clostridium botulinum. And that toxin is composed of uh, seven neurotoxins uh, listed from A to G. Now, uh, humans uh, have uh, A, uh, B, E, and uh, rarely have a little bit of uh, type F. Now, uh, transmission can occur from uh, improperly uh, preserved uh, home processed or uh, home canned foods, uh, typically that the ones that have uh, low acid content. Uh, some examples of that uh, might include uh, corn, uh, beets, green beans, carrot juice, asparagus, and occasionally uh, you can go outside of that uh, where there's been some circumstances found with uh, fish. Uh, one of the ways you can prevent that is just uh, properly cooking the food and uh, most canned foods have a uh, botulism pressure cooker uh, temperature they're supposed to cook food at and uh, that temperature was listed at uh, 250 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately three minutes. And basically the way transmission happens is you have these uh, dormant uh, spores or Clostridium uh, botulinum and they become bacteria, bacteria and uh, they uh, produce toxins and those botulism toxins uh, once consumed uh, by humans through food uh, they inhibit the nerves uh, so that the uh, muscles cannot contract. Signs and symptoms uh, mostly occur within uh, 12 to 36 hours after eating. Now, the range can be somewhat wider in some cases, but most of it is from 12 to 36 hours. And uh, keep in mind that the chemical acetylcholine cannot be released. Uh, it's blocked uh, from the motor nerve endings. And the uh, symptoms have a, a wide range, uh, consisting uh, mostly of uh, paralysis, which we've covered, uh, possibly blurred vision, pitosis, nausea, uh, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, uh, cramps, or uh, respiratory uh, difficulty. And again, uh, this stuff is tied into the uh, seven uh, different toxins that we covered earlier. And uh, mo there's mostly three with humans. and. Uh, F uh, rarely occurs, but it can can occur. Uh, clinical people typically refer to it as uh, descending paralysis, uh, lack of fever, uh, don't have clear senses or clear mental status. So, uh, how is botulism diagnosed? Well, a physician may consider uh, diagnosing it if uh, the patient's history and uh, physical examination suggests it. However, uh, there is an issue in that uh, sometimes the clues don't offer enough for uh, diagnosis. Uh, there's other diseases such as a stroke or myasthenia uh, gravis that can appear similar to botulism. Uh, so, in other words, uh, they may need to do a uh, special test uh, such as a uh, brain scan, cerebrospinal uh, fluid examination, and uh, nerve conduction test, also known as uh, EMG. So, uh, how can uh, botulism be treated? Uh, well, uh, for infants, there's uh, hospital care. And there's also a drug known as uh, botulism immune globulin uh, intravenous and it's also known as uh, baby big which I have a photo of right here for adults there's uh, botulinum antioxidants uh, such as uh, trivalent ABE or heptavalent uh, ABCDEFG now uh, one uh, antioxidant that's uh, being tested in animals is known as uh, HBAT and uh, 
it's considered uh, important because it can neutralize all of the different uh, toxin strains. However, uh, it can only neutralize the circulating toxin. It cannot uh, neutralize a toxin that's uh, bound to the nerve terminals. And uh, some of the side effects from that uh, can include uh, headache, fever, chills, uh, rash, itching, and uh, possibly uh, nausea. It could uh, also possibly trigger allergic reactions uh, for people that are sensitive to uh, horse proteins. And that essentially is an overview of uh, botulism. Thank you for watching.